what up what up what up what up what up what up crypto warriors it's tuesday april 28th 2020 take calculated risks that is quite different from being rash george s Patton, general of the army during world war ii and led the army during the invasion of normandy in today's video we're going to be talking about bitcoins having and why it might be irrelevant as far as a price is concerned uh stacking sats and world economic forum and blockchain let's get into it in this video's bitcoin savings having is irrelevant for some large traders bitcoin's third having is less than two weeks away google searches indicate an all-time high level of interest in this event the third in the life of the world's oldest cryptocurrency not going to stay too long here on this article just basically talks about the having and that the price doesn't matter like myself i'm just dollar cost averaging you know every month or so just dollar cost averaging the price doesn't matter to me if the price goes up down sideways it doesn't matter i'm still dollar cost averaging and it's not like after the having we're going to see bitcoin's price skyrocket to all-time new highs you know the, the day after or the week after no you know it could but likelihood that it won't hap happen and this thing will gradually gain steam over a period of time so that's it next stacking sats stacking sats small bitcoin holders on the rise data suggests new data support the assertion that small bitcoin investors are multiplying rapidly and anecdotal evidence suggests that much of the growth is coming is taking place in the u.s so here it is the number of network addresses holding at least 0.1 btc has continued to hit new all-time highs climbing to over 3 million on monday which was yesterday according to data from glassnode at the time of the publication of publication 0.1 btc is worth 770 dollars these addresses began to increase exponentially around mid-february coinciding with the federal reserve's chairman jerome powell's suggestion to lawmakers that the central bank lack sufficient firepower to fight the next recession when you talk about bitcoin being a hedge against central banks and their crazy policies this is why people are starting to get hip to central banks and their crazy policies and, and the government's policies to, to support uh bankers and you know large business businesses and not the everyday people so people are getting hip to it inferring definite conclusions about market activity from on-chain metrics is difficult difficult a user can control multiple addresses for example so not every i'm sorry for example so not every new address represents a new investor and you should know that because people can have multiple different uh, um, bitcoin addresses multiple different wallets or yeah multiple different wallets on on the same device so that's a no-brainer right there first time buyers swan bitcoin a bitcoin investment service based in los angeles that launched in the middle of the covid19 panic has seen strong uptake in cu customers who save over three 300 per month in bitcoin on average with some measuring well into the thousands said the cto not even going to try to pronounce that name the number of orders on our so this is coming from another platform uh, river financial a bitcoin brokerage based in san francisco the number of orders on our platform doubled in mid-march and it has since sustained a significantly elevated rate he said many of our clients have directly told me that they are buying bitcoin because the government is printing so much money a lot of these people are buying bitcoin for the first time and i have even noticed that in my personal life like i've stated um, in a couple of my last videos i've seen an uptick in an in interest in bitcoin and cryptocurrencies from a lot of my friends who i may have or maybe not have mentioned bitcoin bitcoin to them in the past but they know that i'm into bitcoin they've been asking me questions about bitcoin lately so everybody's like i said getting hip to the federal reserve and their shenanigans and the, the fact that the government only supports large banks 
and large institutions. Brian Armstrong, CEO of Coinbase, shared a cryptic chart earlier in April indicating a spike in the number of Coinbase customers who deposit and execute buy orders for $1,200. Like in one of my last videos, I stated, the, I covered this, where people are using their stimulus checks for $1,200 to buy Bitcoin or and or other cryptocurrencies. So there you have it. The, the, tides are the tide is turning, so to speak. And, and um, we're starting to see a bigger interest from first-time buyers. A lot of first-time buyers coming into the crypto space and buying Bitcoin, trying to secure their wealth, you know, as and keep the, the fact that the Federal Reserve is, is printing money all willy-nilly. And we even seen that the other, um, yesterday. I should have it up in, in this video. But the Japanese Central Bank is starting to print a lot of money too. All right. They, they, they included the, or they've stated the fact that they are going to do an infinite amount of QE as well. So people are going to get tired of this and they're going to see that their currency is being debased. So they're going to protect themselves and come into Bitcoin. And with the halving coming up, it'll be less Bitcoin available to, to, uh, for the world. We as early adopters are ahead of the curve. Next, we have the World Economic Forum looks to blockchain to restart global economy. That's big right there. World Economic Forum believes DLT supply chain solutions can help reboot the global economy, launching a blockchain de deployment kit. All right, so the WEF has released a blockchain deployment kit or deployment toolkit intended to assist government and businesses in adopting their supply chains to the current economic climate and to accelerate an economic rebound post COVID-19. The report published April 28th asserts that the resilience of private and pu public supply chains have been tested amid the coronavirus outbreak. The report argues that the efficiency of supply chains relies on transparency and advocating for the adoption of distributed ledger technology DLT to create a shared truth among supply chain stakeholders. All right, so what's the WEF? The World Economic Forum is a Switzerland-based non-governmental organization that was founded in 71 to engage leaders, businesses, academia, and um, politics on key economics issues relating to the advancement of the global economy. So talking about supply chain, for all the supply chain blockchain gurus out there, I'm pretty sure this is a uh, great news for you guys. I don't know if they'll be using those public blockchains, but you know, they could be using those public block blockchains like uh, VeChain or Walton Chain and things of that nature to help them, you know, with that trust. Here it is, the shared truth. All right, because having that trust to know where the supplies are coming from and if they've been affected with some kind of um, disease like or outbreak, say E. coli for food uh, supply chain. So, you know, to know where exactly it started from and, and to be able to 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 stop it um, from spreading it and things of that nature. So great news again. Uh, as always, please smash the likes hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and share this video to get it out there so that way more people will know the truth about Bitcoin and blockchain and um, DLT and everything in the blockchain space. It's Sergeant Crypto, and I'm out. Peace.